It's been a while, has it not? It has been a while, chat. But I am back. And I am blacker than ever. End. What are you playing? Sword Soul. Sleep Soul. I'll be having that. Ratio. Did you throw two left arms of Exodia in this deck? No, I'm not an idiot. I did not. Exodia is in this deck, though. Hmm. Planning on going to any of the finals games for the Nuggets? I wanted to, but they sold out so quickly because it's the first finals that the Nuggets have ever been to. Uh, so, no. I now rival the gods. What up, Bebop? Bro, you gonna imperm me. What a whore. So we got a lot going on with this deck. We have Exodia. We have Slifer. Oh, we got some crazy shit going on. Uh, I'm just gonna go Mascarina. The only reason I'm going Mascarina is because if I happen to get Slifer in Graveyard, like if he's playing Tier, if he's playing anything that sends cards. How does the Heat guard Jokic and Murray pick and roll? I don't know if they do, man. They're going to have a tough time with Jokic. All right, I'm going to assume it's Sword Soul, so... Actually, you know what? Call Lightning Storm. I don't want to get my back row removed. Fortnite? Why you, Why you keep saying Fortnite? I'm under Master Duel. Would love to see the three days play Outlast Trials. Uh, we actually talked about that today. Yeah, I I'm conflicted a little bit. I obviously, I'm rooting for the Nuggets. Um, I would like the Nuggets or... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and grab Kelbeck. As a little hand trap. What rank are you in the qualifiers? Uh, 16? All right, I just have to hope he doesn't have Ash Blossom or Called By. Actually, Called By is fine because I could just shuffle, uh, dodge it. Ash would stop me, though. Deru! Allow it, bruv. Yes. Buff hit? Yeah, I I'm pretty sad they took away... Uh... They took away that meter gain it wasn't even that good to begin with i don't know why they took it away it's fine oh you discarded a card i could just send this back to your hand now yeah you can only use this effect once per turn so i might as well 
Or I could just get rid of the tuner. Tuner's probably more dangerous. He hasn't normal summoned yet, so... Nah, we'll get rid of this. Because then Baron de Fleur could come out. And we don't want that. So go back to the hand. And we already got exchange of the spirit in the grave. So we shut down his uh, extra... I forgot he could just do that. Hello? Oh, ho -ho! I beat that Mascarina! Unicorn! Now let's send that away. Back to the deck. You're not bringing out Barone to floor. Get over it. Sharen. Get over it. My pinecone got the most baller. Prove me wrong. Bro, J. Rico, there's a level beyond that, though. Maybe I should have gotten rid of the tuner after all. Because now he could bring out a level 11. And he surrenders. Dubs. Yeah, at three years is the highest. What level are you? Uh, 16, I believe. 16 or 15. Not the greatest hand. All right, we just have to hope he doesn't have Harpy's Feather Duster or something. I'm gonna set this. All right, no Harpies. Don't have Harpies. Seca's the light. What is this? Uh, I forgot what this is. Damn, bro, just drew two cards. Karakuri? Vernusovluf? What are you playing, bro? Are you just drawing cards? What's your motive? All right, that's a tuner. Let's keep an eye on that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just activate this now. Get a shuffler and grave. And grab Kelbeck. Charbuck. How far do you think you'll go in this tournament? I don't know. I'm not... Again, I, I'm playing an Exodia Slifer deck. We'll see how far that takes me, but I'm just having fun with this. Then you can special summon one Earth. Okay. Do I do this now, or should I wait for something more scary? I think I'll wait. I don't know what... He hasn't normal summoned yet, so I don't want to go too quickly with this obliterate. This is also discarding. Earth monster with a different name. Okay. I don't know what he's going to send away yet. I don't know what the end board of this looks like. Or what it's supposed to look like. Oh, this guy, he probably is playing, uh, uh, what's it called? Block Dragon? Alright, he's choosing to special summon it. 
He still has not normal summoned. It's going to be 4-4. Four, four. Alright. Uh, fuck it. I'll use the shuffler now. I'll bite. I'll bite, Mike. And we're just going to get... You know what? Let's get rid of this other tuner, too. Let's do anything in the graveyard. No, I don't think so. Just hit all those. Change its battle position. Uh, if this card is targeted for an attack, change the battle position. Could banish this card, uh, change its battle position. Okay, so that's nothing, really. Okay. <clears throat> and then whatever he synchro summons, I can get rid of. Okay. All right, well, now he has two tuners in play. <laughs> Barkion. Fuck. All right, I should have, uh... Should have looked out for that. Might have to be patient now. Oh, he's discarding. Okay, we're good. All right, and he did get block dragon engraved, so that's going to start getting annoying soon. But since he just discarded a card, Kelbeck should be able to get rid of Barkion, which we need to do so we can actually use Obliterate. Let's get rid of Barkion. Barkion negates traps, so. But, damn, he still has a normal summon. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Just because whatever I return to his hand, he could just bring back out. And because he has a level two and a level four, he can easily just bring out Barkion again. So there's really nothing I can do here. I mean, I could activate Obliterate. But there's no point because whatever I return to his hand, he'll just play again. All right, let's see what he does. There's no point. Yep, here it comes. Right back. That does get rid of a tuner, but then block dragons are just about to come out. So maybe I should just be careful or just be patient. Because if I can get a shuffler, then I can prevent block dragon from spamming coming back. Another tuner. He can go level 5 synchro. Which is what I'm guessing he's going to do. I'm sure he's... Yeah, level 5. Alright. I'm sure he's going to use his shuffler on... Is it any two cards? Yes, yeah, be these two. Or damn, just any two cards is crazy. Okay.
I'm just gonna turn toggle off. I'm sure he's gonna use his shuffler. He's gonna use his shuffler on um the electromagnetic turtle. All right, since he's not, I'm just going to use this now because then I at least get to keep uh, a level four on the board. And if I didn't use turtle now, he could have just used the shuffler later. So figured now is best. All right. Uh, no point in activating this. It'll get negated. I got to get rid of Barky on first. And I think I have a way to do so, but that's not going to do it. Ooh, but what this will do. Ooh. Ooh, I know. Okay. Let's do this. Boom. And it's just asking for a shuffler to activate. And we'll go into Anima. Ratio, I'll be having that. Put that here. And then I can obliterate in peace. And this has to come from the graveyard. Oh, this can come from the hand, too. Okay, good thing I read that. Hmm. All right. Uh... I guess we just get rid of it. I mean, no, we should just destroy it. No, if I destroy it, he'll just shuffle it back. Yeah, so let's just let's just do this. Then we'll just send a random piece to the grave. Okay. And then he doesn't have any dark monsters. I could crash, but there's no point. I'd rather just use obliterate during battle phase next turn. Uh, yeah. Or I could actually go dark. No, then he can shuffle Barky on back in. All right, you know what? Yeah, let's end it right there. Then battle phase will hit him with obliterate. All right, let's call what he's gonna draw next. Uh, rock. What could he possibly be playing? I know he has shufflers. Fuck it. I'll just... Um... I don't know. I'm just going to call something that could, like, fuck me up right now. If you were to top deck it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what these rock decks be playing. I was thinking of calling Keldo, but then I remember there's no point because it just gets sent to the graveyard and then it still gets its use as a shuffler. Now, what he might consider doing is trying to crash into Anima, but we'll see. Block Dragon is threatening everywhere but in the Vanish the banish Zone. Yeah. Robin Luna, appreciate the Prime. Uh, the Slayer 02, appreciate the seven months. Uh, I almost said Saiyan. I'm such a fucking Dragon Ball. Uh, Alien God, appreciate the 11 months. Dav Mac, appreciate the five. Marcy Mark, appreciate the bits. All right, what you attacking? Yeah, I figured he would do that. All right, activate Obliterate. Return that to the hand. All right, now he's going to be forced to banish his his little cards here if he wants to bring Block Dragon back out. Or he can take these hands. If he sets a card, it's just killed, though. Yep, here it comes. That's fine. That's fine. I don't think he can really link into anything scary. All right. I don't know what this does. Oh, wait. No, we're, we're not in those spots, though. All 
Ah, uh, this can actually get played right now. But that's only if it's destroyed by battle, so. Gigantes. And then it'll destroy my back row. But what will you banish? Probably barrier statue. Block dragon has to go. I, I agree. Are you vegan or is that just a joke? I've been vegan for six years. I don't see the joke about that or like even if I was like, I don't understand what would be funny about that. <laughs> but yeah, I am. Are you going to play fighters after the patch? I've been playing fighters. I just haven't streamed it. I posted a combo that I did with uh, Goku Black just this morning. Okay. Two wins. Let's go. Two and zero, oh, baby. Let's keep it going. Is being vegan affected your muscle gains in any way? Again, I've been doing this for six years. I am in better shape now than I than I ever was before. <clears throat> but I'm not here to convince anybody of anything. Don't really care to. Do whatever you want. Shit works for me. Uh, a lot of signs backing it up, but do whatever the fuck you want. All right, we're going second this time. So hopefully it doesn't get too... And it's tier. Well, luckily, he might send some... Y'all want to know a card that needs to go? Y'all want to know a card that needs to go? All right, it's only Speller Trap. And you have to banish a card from your graveyard. Right now, he doesn't have anything. So, I kind of need to jump on this opportunity. All right, first, we're going to play Mudora. And I'm just going to punch Cyberstein in the face. Thus sending it to the graveyard. But, should be fine. Because we can just Mudora... We can get rid of this. We, we we should be okay. All right. End. Let's see what he does. And if he starts getting some stuff into the graveyard, I will simply Mudora it away. When a spell trap, you can banish one card from your graveyard, then send. Okay. So... Well, what is he doing with Kelbeck? I'm curious. He might... Let's see what he does. I want to see what he does with Kelbeck first. Okay. So that's it. That's it. You're just going to go into battle now. All right. That's fine. Go into battle. He's trying to get more graveyard fodder. We're just going to hit this. Return Cyberstein. Once that resolves, then we activate Obliterate. Use the effect. Return this to your extra deck. All right. Now, feel free to attack me with Kelbeck. And actually... I know this may seem like a waste, but I'm going to use Battle Fader now just so I can get an extra monster on board. So then I can either link, uh, basically extra deck play next turn. Okay. I'm going to send away the head of Exodia. I'm going to grab my Kelbeck.
All right. Gravekeeper's Trap. I'm not going to... He's playing Tier Laments, so I'm not going to send away Kelbeck and get his deck going. Uh, I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab my Kel, though. I'm going to activate Kel, though. But I'm not going to activate Kelbeck. I'm going to send Kelbeck away, but I'm not going to activate it. Because I don't want him to get benefits for what I do. I'm going to grab Exchange the Spirit. Not going to activate that. All right. No, nothing in his graveyard right now. And I'm just going to... And he's gone. And he's gone. 3-0, baby. That song goes hard, by the way. This is a new dueling song. And by new... Yeah, it's pretty new. It's, uh... Came out for... It's Yugo's theme. From... Whichever series Yugo is from. Sam Team! Stunned your dumbass not on DBFZ, to be honest. Bro, did you? I did the combo, by the way. Have you been on Twitter? That stupid ass combo you sent me. I didn't realize when you sent that that it's literally, it's literally like a frame perfect combo. Like, if you're even a frame off, like one frame for any of like the delayed hits, it drops. This hand is ass, by the way. Oh, brother, this guy plays punk. You deleted the Twitter app? Oh, I cussed you. Bro, don't say you deleted it a while ago. Bitch, you tweeted two days ago. <laughs> oh, unless you were just on desktop when you use it. I guess you could theoretically use Twitter. Bro, I'll send you the combo. Whoever just asked in there. Bro, I was on this shit for like three hours. Does your deck even have an out to unaffected monsters? Yep, drawing all five pieces of Exodia. <laughs> That's the out. What are you playing? Hey, bro, 3-0, and oh, dual level 17. <laughs> that doesn't answer your question, huh? Look, this is a bad hand, bro, but I'm 3-0. and oh, I've been cooking so far. It's a little hybrid between Exodia and Slifer with uh, a sprinkle of Ishizu cards. Now, this is a bad example, a bad representation of what the hand or what the deck is capable of. But trust you me, bro. I get a max C off. I'm looking different. Punk heroes? Is that this guy's motive? Oh, yeah. Instant contact. Damn! Bro, shout out to the motherfuckers drawing Yu-Gi-Oh cards because holy shit. Imagine having to draw this. Abomination. 
I'm unaffected by activated effects. Gasp. Doesn't every deck look different with a maxi going off though? Bro, shut up. I didn't ask for your opinion. All right. Can this guy hurry up, bro? If I would have had Max E, bro, this guy wouldn't be so confident. I'll tell you that much. What, you think I'm going to scoop at this little at this little field? I believe in the heart of the cards, partner. I will simply draw exactly what I need. Heart of the cards. Guide me. Perfect. I win. You lose. Sorry. GG. GG. Unaffected by activated effects. Uh, pay 1,000. Target one. Banish them. All right. For some reason, I thought this guy did piercing damage. As long as he doesn't do piercing, I am... Uh, I might. All right. So if I set this, he can't react. And then I will bring out the unaffected Chad in defense mode. And that is an expert play. How will you ever defeat such a play? You won't. You won't. I say hiding behind two battle faders. <laughs> I won't lose to you. Go ahead, negate it. Actually, called by the grave would bring a tear to my eye. You have no choice but to battle. I am unaffected. I'm the legendary Exodia incarnate. Crazy deck. Bro, watch how I still win somehow, bro. Despite how the odds are stacked against me. Despite the break. Again, you came at a bad time, bro. My deck was cooking. The concept is, bro, I go first. I get Slifer into the graveyard, revive Sky God face down, flip over revive Sky God when they draw one card, I draw six, and I just draw every piece of Exodia. No, actually, stick around, bro. I'm gonna show you a highlight. Chat, you haven't seen this either. This is, I, I saved the replay, I was off camera, but, oh brother, but first we gotta get through these punk turns. Y'all know punk turns take a fucking a leap year, bro. I saw your replay. It's funny. Did you? How will you stop my legendary Exodia incarnate? It doesn't look like any of your cards say legendary on them. <laughs> so you don't know what it's like to face a legend unless you underworld goddess me if you underworld goddess me i might cry but not really because you know battle fader but still fast forward irl i know right appaloosa oh shit <laughs> that can negate my battle fader I'm appalled. Damn, that's pretty strong. All right, but what will you negate, brother? Will you negate my legendary Exodia Incarnate? Oh, brother, just allow it. This should be unaffected in the graveyard too, I'm just saying. All right, we're probably taking 65. Why didn't he attack? Did he play something that prevented him from attacking with that? Interesting. All right. Am I stupid? What happened? Saw your reaction to completing the combo. Bro, motherfucker, you can't do it. Post one video of you doing it. You can't do that. You can't do that combo. Stop lying. You can't. Impossible. All right. First, let's see if we can get over Opelousa with Sheer Oonga Boonga. Oh, I know what I'll do. Oh, this will get negated by Opelousa. Hmm. 
All right, well, that does get rid of a negate, and that will bring Opelousa's strength down. Mine is character dependent for height. Oh, shit. Oh, he doesn't want to use Opelousa's effect. I'll make sure you live to regret it, you son of a bitch. All right. Now I'm thinking. I'm thinking I. I don't know what his back row is. It, it, it kind of got me a little nervous. I, I I won't lie to you. Mustari born. I need two level fours, please. Two level fours, front and center. Cuatro. Dos. All right, now the question is, nah, let's let's be smart about this. I was thinking about doing Dugatis to draw two, but he could just negate it, so there's no point. Let's just see if we can punch over Opelousa. Utopia! That's it. I'm about to make math re... Wait, what does this do? Hold on. <laughs> Once per turn, band... At the start of the battle phase... Oh, it just gains attack. Okay, so that's during his turn. All right, so I don't think I'm worried about that during my turn. It doesn't say quick effect. Utopia Prime! Yep, I'm about to make you do math, bro. Try doing math when I'm 110 points stronger than you. All right. Um, attack. Yes. You know what that means, right? You know what that means, right? Zeus! All right. Now I'm a little worried about what else he has. I just have to go for it. He's got his board scaring me, bro. Okay, but I have two materials or I have another set so I could just chain and he can only activate one of these per turn. All right, I have to go for it. Come on, Zeus. Come on, Zeus. And Imperm! And Imperm! He's at you. He's, he, he's gone! He's unaffected though. Hey, it seems like he doesn't know that. <laughs> or or maybe he's just trying to, you know, he figures the back row would leave if Zeus resolves. I did forget he's unaffected, but maybe he forgot. Why? Oh, you little bitch. Ain't no way you just had every answer in the goddamn world. Bro had every answer in the world. All right, does he have any graveyard effects I should be looking out for? All right, and then that's unaffected. Honestly, I need Underworld Goddess. I don't, but I don't have it in this deck for some reason. I think I do. I think I should add it because Underworld Goddess is my best way out over shit like this. 
Bro doesn't do piercing damage though, so I'm chilling. All right, I'll just draw all five pieces of Exodia, bro. What are you? <laughs> Relax. All right, I, I, I don't know what he could draw that like is really bad. So this is what I'm gonna do. This is my logic here. I type in punk and I look at what's a UR. Oh wow, that's a UR, that could be scary. Reveal one and then special summon the revealed monster. Wow, scary punk card. See, and then he doesn't know that. He doesn't know that I just clicked a random card. The fuck? By paying 3k. And that is good for him because he gets to gain that amount of attack points. Well, fuck. Uh, you can send this card, send one from your hand or deck, and then if you do special summon from your deck. Okay, so I can't stop that. I was thinking of grabbing Kelbeck too, but there's no point because this would be unaffected by Kelbeck. I guess I could have hit this. But I kind of want to keep both of my battle faders in hand. My music! Music make you look at all. Music make you look at all. Alright, uh, what you doing? Add one punk from deck to the hand, okay. Bro, what's crazy is... If I didn't break, I simply, like, would have already won. Because if I didn't break, I would have just started the duel with all the pieces of Exodia in my hand. Why defense mode? Are you pussy? Oh, you're gonna... Yep. Should have saw that coming. Baron de Flussy! Use your bro on the floor in the gate. Use it. Use it. Wait, I can use two battle faders in, in one turn, right? <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> like, zoink, scoop. This is going to hurt. But not if I activate Batal Fader. Batal Fader! Gasp? But what will you do about the second one? Please let me use the other one. Let me use the other one too. I have another one. Let me! Let me! Ah! <laughs> Fuck! Because he already declared battle and I he negated when I activated on declaration! Alright, chat. I didn't mean to save this stupid replay. Nobody cares about that replay, bro. All right, speaking of great replays, why don't y'all look at the greatest replay of all time? Look at the greatest replay of all time. Watch me cook. This isn't the right one. Hold on. <sighs> Gotta have the right song. Was it this one then? Watch this replay. Watch this Exodia Master. Watch what the deck is capable of. Now, obviously, I lucked out by having card destruction. Boom. 
What do I do? Activate Aguido. Send five. Slifer's in grave. I'm happy because guess what? Revive Sky God on the field and Maxi. So what do I do? Activate Maxi. He's probably like, you're an idiot. I'm not special summon. Gasp. It's because I wanted my hand empty so I can draw six cards. And then he gets to draw one. I pick up six new cards. Slifer, 6K. He's playing Pathetic Dragons. Activate Gravekeeper's Trap. What am I going to send away? What did I send away? Mudora. And then I grab Kelbeck. I knew to throw Mudora away because he's playing Filthy Blue Eyes. He has zero attack, so Slifer's effect doesn't destroy it. Then he dares to kind of kaiju me with uh, Kurapika. Brings out Link Karibo. Riveting gameplay. But I have Gravekeeper's Trap, which is why his uh, White Stone of Ancients didn't work. He gets a little damage on me, bro. But I ain't losing no sleep. Because I activate Revive Sky God in the graveyard. Add Monster Reborn. Put it in my hand. Put Monster Reborn in my hand. Guess what? I have another Revive Sky God. So what's my goal? To empty this hand as much as possible. And also, the beauty of this deck is, basically, we can get, empty our whole deck into the graveyard, right? Shuffle in all five pieces of Exodia. All my effects activate in the graveyard. I don't give a fuck about skill drain. See, my deck's empty. I have zero cards left. Now, hold on. Pause this. How do I make it, like, not go super light speed, bro? All right, I don't know. Nevertheless, activate, send this away. I pop the back row. It's negated, I know. The whole point is, again, I'm trying to empty my hand. I hit Mostar Ibon. I grab his jet. I already know the game's over. I already know I win at this point. Look at that, look at that. And I got, I already have the left leg in my hand. So, what I do is I shuffle all the pieces of Exodia, all four pieces, and I know when I activate Revive Sky God. Oh, and watch this. This is where I get downright disrespectful. I get to predict his next card, right? Look at the card I pick. Tell me I'm not a savage. Tell me I'm not a savage. I pick Checkmate. I'm letting him know it's over. I'm letting him know it's over. You lose. Activate Revive Sky God. Bring out Slifer. Draw until I have six, which is all five pieces of Exodia. I try to tell you guys. It's literally just the greatest replay of all time. If you hit somebody with checkmate, bro, how do I delete this? Fuck out of here. I, I, I don't mean to say that. I think I did the same thing in this one too, but I didn't make it public. Let me make it public now, because I'm pretty sure I did the same thing. Is that serious looking dapper as fuck on my screen? Thanks. Do you think Cubic is still good in uh, this game mode? Tier Limits is, yeah, yeah. Tier Limits kinda, eh. Cubics are very, eh, hit or a miss. All right, look at this. Not a great hand, but salvageable. Obliterate, put this back. I can tell he's playing like a Floodgate type deck. Send away a piece, activate Gravekeeper's Trap, main phase two, send away Kalbeck. I'm hoping I fish out a Slifer so I can activate Revive Sky God. I did not get it, but I did get another Revive Sky God. Activate a Guido. Still don't have a Slifer. I'm shuffling something back into my deck for some reason. I don't know why I'm bringing these back. Oh, I think I want more of a chance to, uh, yeah, get like an Aguido Kelbeck. Send away Aguido. Grab Cal back. Grave Digger's Trap Hole. Ignorant. Oh, yeah. This is a Labyrinth player. Activate Obliterate to dodge the Bottomless Trap Hole. You're not banishing my Kelbeck, partner. Kelbeck going right back to my hand. Mink. Yeah, I'm somewhat of a professional. Activates Welcome Labyrinth. I don't give a fuck about Welcome Labia. Watch this. I called Labyrinth, Labyrinth. I didn't get it. But I know that the card he grabbed can only be activated if he controls the Fiend. Send away Kelbeck. Kelbeck activates. 
Still didn't get a Slifer in Grave. Again, like, I'm trying to throw my cards away until I get Slifer. Activate Obliterate. Send this card away. I kind of made a mistake. Uh, I wanted to hit this before it used the effect to grab a card out of the Grave, but I think he was able... No, it was his... He has to make the first move main phase one, so that's what that was. Send away Agito. Still trying to fish out. Chill... Still trying to fish out old Slifey boy. Still haven't gotten Slifer. And then there's Slifer. Slifer is finally in the graveyard. Meow, 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 meow. And again, my deck gets more deadly the lower it gets. Because the lower it gets, the more likely... And look, I'm going to draw my last two cards... My deck is empty. And now all I have to do is shuffle all the pieces of Exodia back. Activate Revive Sky God and you know to rest. Mink, draw exactly what I need for a game. I'm literally like, uh, I'm like, fuck mathematician. I am a math magician, bro. I, I, I just, my brain is constructed alternatively. Beautiful. Beautiful. Witness the baller. All right, now let's see if we can do that real time. Still laughing at Welcome Lavia. Where Coder at? Coder, do you understand the baller of the deck now? Do you understand the capabilities? Especially against, uh, you did something similar? Yeah, you copied me. Especially against like tier limits. If they want to empty out my deck, fine. The only uh, deck that, like, hard cooks my deck is uh, Runic. Because they just be banishing my pieces of Exodia. How consistent is it? Hey, I'm 3-1 and one so far, bro. Today. I'm showing you that. This is the first time I go live with it. All right, I'm not going to activate Maxi until something that Special Summons activates, which is that. All right. Bro, don't have called by, don't have Ash Blossom. Yeah, it's just asking about your Shuffler. It's just asking about your Shuffler. Your Ash Blossom's gone. It's gone. Three and one. So far, I haven't been live that long, bro. Been live for like an hour. So far, I am three and one. Kit Kalos. See, and this is the this is what I want. My goal in life is for someone to not know, like take the maxi challenge without no because at this point he doesn't know I'm playing Exodia. I would love to just like sit back, watch him summon his whole field, and then I I just get Exodia through Maxi. That's my goal in life. My Buster Blader would cook this deck. Yeah, you copy and pasted my Buster Blader. Also, the out to Buster Blader is this. Really not that complicated. <laughs> I target your Buster Blader, return it to your extra deck. Wow, GG. And you're talking to a guy who plays Buster Blader, so I know how that shit works. da -doo! All right, he probably has a return fire maxi, and he a bitch. Uh, I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna set this. Part of me wants to set yet another, but in case he has like back row removal, something crazy, I think I'm gonna just leave it at that. All right, so I don't have to worry about that yet. All right, we have Gravekeeper's Trap, but this card is useless until I get... If I get Exchange of the Spirit in Grave, then I'm happy. But it's risky because a way for me to do that is obviously by using Gravekeeper's Trap, sending away Kelbic. All right, you know what? That's fine. Go into battle. Okay, that's fine. Don't care. 
All right, battle phase. Obliterate! Return to the hand. No, 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 no. I will send away the right arm. Exodia's beat off arm. The illustrious right arm. All right, now, Pete, I know this is going to sound stupid. Why would you use the battle fader against just a level four monster? The damage wouldn't be that severe. One, I have a backup battle fader. And two, it gets me a card on board so I can go into my extra deck next play. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I go for the little Zeus play. All right, I'm going to activate, not yet. Until I can make sure I get Gravekeepers or Exchange of the Spirit in Graveyard, I don't want to send away Kelbeck. All right, just every fucking battle fader. All right, I'm going to play the left arm of Exodia. And the beauty is battle fader, normally when it leaves the field, it gets banished. But if I overlay it and it becomes Exceed material, then it will simply go back into my graveyard. So we could have infinite battle faders. All right, this card's good because it'll mill out our deck uh, just by just by one. But, you know. One better than none. Bro, it's just the continuous trap that negates effect if you have a tier limits card. You don't have a tier limits card. So you can either activate Caldo or you can get the fuck out of my face, man. All right, activate this. Uh, we'll detach that. Ah, just a lag. You little baby back whore. All right. Um, okay, that's fine. But as you can see, Battle Fader goes back. I could add this back to his hand, but honestly, I feel like I'm safer with this on the field than in his hand. Because if it's in, in his hand, he can discard it, get a lot of effects off of it. Uh, so instead... Hmm... I don't even need to obliterate it. I don't want it to go back to his hand. All right, that's fine. Now, he might bring out something like Nightmare Phoenix. Uh, which would pop a back row and also discard a card from his hand. So, if he has another Agito, uh, Kelbeck, I could be in trouble. But, I mean, I would have to hold that regardless. So, let's see it. Let's see what he goes for. And if it's not something that pops the back row, we will just obliterate whatever he brings out. Dion, congrats on the Konami sponsors. Appreciate it. Thank you. Real recognized real. Time Thief Redoer. Okay. I'll wait for Battle Phase to activate Obliterate. Because he can just chain and then banish it. And basically dodge the effect. So I'll wait for battle phase. I might even let him attack first. Just so I can get another battle fader and, you know, rinse and repeat. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's, let's get another battle fader in play. Definitely can't let the attack go in or go through because uh, Zeus. All right, I might as well force him into using this effect now. Doesn't hurt. No, 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 no. Invisible drink. 
Yes. Oh, you're letting it go through? Send away a leg. My leg! Down, 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 and out, and now. This motherfucker. All right. Well, now it's going to get banished, so that sucks a little bit. All right. I kind of want to start milling out my deck. He doesn't seem to have anything to get rid of Obliterate just yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this backup one. And we're going to start playing the game a little bit. We have four pieces of Exodia in the grave. So that means if we did get out Legendary Exodia Incarnate, uh, he'll be pretty beefy, but he could just Kelbeck, or not Kelbeck, uh, Keldo, and shuffle all the pieces back in, but whatever. Why don't you go on YouTube anymore? Because that's only when I'm playing Dragon Ball games. I don't happen to be playing a Dragon Ball game. I'm gonna grab Mudora, so I can get some shufflers in play as well. Oh, that's perfect. Now I can just kill though. I'm actually just gonna send away Mudora. And basically, this should damn near be game because now we have exchanged the spirit and now we can just lock down his graveyard. Yep, you better use it now. Better use that effect now, playboy. All right, we're gonna activate this. Send this away, and then the second this touches the graveyard, he can't use these graveyard effects. And I will just grab... You know, I'll just grab another Mudora. All right, now that I've exchanged the spirit in the grave, I'm not afraid of his graveyard. Matter of fact... No, let's not do that. I almost put that back in his hand. I'm gonna send away our Kelbeck, and now we're gonna start using our graveyard effects. We're gonna start throwing cards into the graveyard. Because here's the backup gravekeeper's trap, playboy. Activate this. Send five. And I could set. Ooh, we got a revive Sky God. Revive Sky God. And now, because we have revived Sky God, I have the utmost confidence. Well, maybe I should punch over this thing first. Hmm. Thinking of using Dugaris, but... Then I can't punch over this thing. I guess that doesn't matter too much. Since I could just obliterate it if it becomes a problem. Although I do like the idea of emptying his field. You know what? I'm going to do it anyway. Dugatis! The Timeless. Now, the scary thing about this card normally is once he hits the field, or once you use his effect, then you can't... Uh, you skip your next draw phase. But because I have Revive Sky God, I'm not too worried about that. Draw two. I'm going to hold on to this. Uh, we're going to just send away this obliterate, I guess. And I kind of want to empty my... That was special summoned. Yeah, I'm going to empty my hand. I'm sure you have dark monsters too, right? Somewhere? Yep, yep. Merli! Dark! The Dark Charmer! Uh, oops. Let me borrow that. Let me borrow that. Brought to you, I'll be having that. Ooh, hola! Send the top three cards of my deck to the graveyard? Well, I would love to. I would love to. I don't know what tier limits do. I don't play these cards, but shit, I am now, I guess. Shit. 
Ooh, we got all the pieces of Exodia in the grave. That means we're close to our goal. But bearing that in mind, I kind of want to keep this in my hand because I could have a beefy Exodia incarnate, but I have nothing to get him out. So I'm actually... Yeah, let's just... Nightmare Unicorn. Activate. All right. Just going to send that back. You ain't activating that shit anyway. Baytol. Mink. All right. Now, do I dare? Do I dare Gravekeeper's Trap? Or not Gravekeeper's Trap. Oh, I have to activate this. You know what? I'm going to call it early. I might regret this. Tier limits can be scary, but I'm going to hit him with the checkmate. Checkmate. I'm letting him know that this duel is over. There's nothing he can do. DD Crow will not save you, bro. But I do have to be careful. I can't activate Revive Sky God because he can chain DD Crow. So I'm not going to activate it yet. Uh, if he activates DD Crow first, then I can chain Revive Sky God. Then I'm good. All right. I still have to be careful about that. Draw phase is skipped. That is a fact. All right. Let's see if I can convince him to use his DD Crow. Okay. I'm just trying to, I'm just testing the waters here. I'm going to scare him by, by by adding all five pieces of Exodia back to my deck now. I want him to be afraid. He didn't bite. He didn't bite on my trap. All right. That's kind of a setback because now I have five more bricks. But we also get to use Obliterate again, so I guess not end of the world. All right. That's fine. I'll be all right with a little 2200 damage. Again, the reason I'm not activating Revive Sky God now is because he has DD Crow in his hand. He can just banish Slifer. So I don't want that. Otherwise, I would have just revived Sky God for game, but. I like to just troll them, man. We're friends, bro. Look at this friendship. Tear Limit Scream! Oh no, you can send cards to your graveyard, but none of them will work. Oh wait, can DD Crow hit Exchange of the Spirit? Didn't blow you think about that, did I? And he leaves! Four and one, baby! Four and one. Because even if he did hit Exchange the Spirit, I could then, I would know that I don't have to worry about DD Crow anymore. I could activate uh, Revive Sky God. Probably drawn to some crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? When like that, you know what I'm saying? GG, that was me? Hey, bro. GG. GG, were you cheating, bro? Were you cheating? Were you looking at my hand? Were you playing around my commentary? What up, Reacts? How goes the stream? Can't stay for long, but wanted to say what's up and hope you're having a good night. Thank you, bro. I am. Hope everything's good with you, too. This is a good hand. This is a good hand. He might max C. I can tell because of the delay. He has something he can activate, like, frame one. Probably Maxi. But this is a pretty good hand. I saw your name and I was wondering if it was the real you. It is I. All right, Revive Sky God needs to be set. Activate Mothman. Hope he doesn't have Maxi. He has Maxi. 1,000%. No? Ooh, we got the perfect card sent away. Mothman. Ooh. 
Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Maybe it's Ash. It might be Ash Blossom. It might be Ashy Blossom. Dugard is the timeless. See, I can do this with confidence when I have Revive Sky God. Because I don't care if I skip my next draw phase. I'm about to draw like five cards. I think this one's... Yeah, it's Ash. Okay. That's fine. That is A-OK. -okay. That is A-OK -okay with me, partner. All right. Turn toggle on. All right. So he only draws one card. I'm going to activate Revive Sky God. Now, normally, I would Gravekeeper's Trap and send away the hand. So I get to draw six cards, which I could... No, I, I have to do that main phase. The reason I'm not doing that is because... Um, one, if I get max C, then I could potentially draw into all five pieces of Exodia, and I can't pass that up. And two, um, there was a second reason. That's why. I, I did get the max C portion, and he already used... Oh, yeah. Two is this situation. I'd rather send away Exchange of the Spirit with Gravekeeper's Trap than just sending away an arm. Special summon this card. Okay. All right. I'm just going to activate Maxi right away. Make our Slifer get stronger and stronger. He doesn't have anything I'm worried about in the graveyard yet. So I don't think I need to Gravekeeper's Trap and get rid of Exchange of the Spirit. Not yet, at least. Is this that OTK ass deck? Wait, hold on. He might be stupid though. All right, here's what I have to do. These these were both special summon. Hold on. I still I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. If this is that deck that uh, brings out Dragon Rar and then the 13k Numeron. Okay, Drag Lubrication. You get weakened because you're against a god. He still hasn't normal summoned yet. Bro, you can't even attack over Dugatis. The Timeless. For the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects <laughs> of that card. Bro, I'm not playing that. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what's going on? What are you up to? Oh, I know what he's doing. 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 I have to get rid of this. I have to get rid of this, right? This will stop Rongo, right? If I get rid of Drag Lubion right now, Rongo can't come out, right? No? It's about me having Dugatis? Number only works if you have an ED monster. Get rid of my Exceed monster. Okay. Uh, will do. I thought Ronga was coming out right now, right now, so I got scared. All right, might as well activate this. I meant to, I had to do that during end phase or uh, main phase. I'm just going to activate this now. It'll search out Monster Reborn and put it in my hand.
Yeah, I gotta have a beefy slifer right now. All right, do this. All right, let's get rid of this numbers monster. Do you have any dark monsters? No, just Ash. All right, I'm just gonna get rid of his back row. Mink, activate. Needs my music back. Uh, send away this. Bro, really try to wrongle me. Alright. Start doing this because I no longer fear his graveyard. So, shit. I'm about to empty it, bro. I'm about to empty your graveyard. Nothing can activate in there right now. in my graveyard. Yeah, sure. I'll set obliterate. Already have two of those. Turn that. Yes, yeah, like that. Oh, yes. Connection getting shaky, ain't it? Connection getting shaky, in it? Hey! Connection getting a little shaky. You kaiju, rongo playing ass pussy. Five and one. Five and one, baby. Y'all had me shook when y'all started talking about Rongo. I got scared. All right, not the best hand, not the worst hand. Um, scale of one to 10, I'll give this a three. Uh, if this guy, another deck that just like hard stops me, anything that's like dimensional fissure, uh, macrocosmos, that kind of cooks my deck. And I do know Exosister sometimes runs those, so. Danger is just boring without the new Dark World. Yeah, no, I want the new Dark World stuff. I'm a Fiend Stan, bro. The Fiend cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! are some of the coolest cards in the game. Yeah, this is a bad matchup. I'm going to see where it goes, but... Yeah, getting my shit banished is... Uh, kind of a problem. Magnifica! All right. Oh, if only I started with this, that'd be nice. All right, I'm gonna set. I'm gonna activate. I'm gonna activate this. Hope I hit Slifer. Anything but Battle Fader would be good for me. 
or would be all right for me. You know what? I'm just gonna fuck it. You know, I might just, I might, I might just, you know what? Let's just do it. Just in case he activates anything. Because I know they can summon during my turn sometimes. Yep. Okay. But since he's doing it as a response, I won't get anything for this maxi. Okay. And it hit my own Mothman. Great. All right, activate that. We are gonna send away, ooh. This would be good if I had Gravekeeper's Trap in play. I do not, yeah, this is looking rough. All right, maybe he'll think that this is Revive Sky God now. I do have to be careful because this can just banish me. <sighs> All right, hear me out. I'm setting this. I need to get him to destroy or hit something. I, I need him to hit Exchange of the Spirit instead of Obliterate. If he hits Exchange of the Spirit, I have a chance. Slim, but a chance, but I have a feeling it's gonna be obliterated. Why would you do this now? I get to draw now, dork. Why don't you wait until my turn? Immediately after this effect resolves, exceed summon. Yeah, I get to draw now. I mean, you got rid of my slifer. Big whoop on the five the ball. The All right, only one card though. All right, I got a battle fader in a dream, baby. Probably gonna hit my exchange. Yep, this was just bait anyway. Not a lot of graveyard effects to look out for, so I'm not too scared to get that banished. All right, yeah, this is just a bad matchup. I don't know if uh, I don't know if I could beat this deck. This might be five and two. You get any Exodia summons yet? It's not a summon. It's actually a win con. <laughs> he doesn't actually get summoned. All right, Batel Fader. Your Batel has been faded. Uh, no, to answer your question. I'm five and one right now, but, and I showed a replay of me getting Exodia. All right, let's see what we can do here. That's a quick effect, right? Okay, so this is only if it was Exceed Summon this turn. This is the one that can just detach one and banish no matter what. So, all right, let's do this. He's going to see an Exodia leg and be like, oh, I want to banish that. Okay, uh, I've been wrong before. Shit, I've been wrong. Letting this rock, huh? Alright, let's detach. Detach Battle Fader, I guess. I might regret losing Battle Fader, but. Aw, oh, you have Ash. No wonder you let it rock. Fuck. Yeah, that's game. I, I mean, there's. there's. I could set Obliterate, but then that just gets banished too. I don't really see a way out of this. I think that's L. I'll play it out. I'll play it out. It, it, it's really nothing I can do, though. I mean, I could set Obliterate. It'll get banished. Does it have to be during my main phase? No, it's any time. Yep.
Yeah, and then he's just gonna keep stacking up his uh, back row if he needed to. Mm. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> let's go next. Go next. Five and two. That was just a bad matchup. Again, it's like rock, paper, scissors, man. Every deck has a bad matchup somewhere. You can think of a bad matchup for any deck. That just happened to be a bad matchup for me. All right, let's see what we're up against this time. Damn, allergy season? I actually just choked on my saliva. This is a good hand. This is a good hand right here, baby. I'll tell you that much. Let's see what he's playing, though. All right, see if he can stop this. I hate when they stop my maxi. <laughs> How am I supposed to just draw into all five pieces of Exodia if you just stop my maxi? You little bitch. All right, well, he can just go crazy. I have no more interruptions. Cybers? Ah, oh, man. Maxi would have been eaten. Circular resolve, because if so, game is over. Imagine your opponent taking the max C challenge and you draw all pieces in the first five draws. Bro, that's, that's my goal in life. I would uninstall if that ever happens to me. Bro, I'm trying to make someone uninstall. Transcode talker. Imagine you played Exodia at YCS and won. Bro, everybody would assume that I cheated. They'd be like, oh, somebody, somebody, somebody fucked his deck up and put all the pieces of Exodia in a row or some bullshit. Dead All right, uh, quick effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw a card. That's gonna last supply. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not. Okay. Uh, let's start. A little foolish burial. We're gonna send away old Slifey boy. And we are literally going to play every fucking card so I can draw six. He doesn't have any shufflers or anything, right? All 
All right. While he has four cards in his hand, I want to activate it now so he only picks up two. Shit, I'll let that resolve first. Go ahead. Draw that card, and then I'll activate it. Ayo, but what if he puts him in attack mode? Fuck, I... I hate to say it, but I gotta activate this now. I guess I don't really. I could see what he brings out first. Unless they have to be in defense mode. No, they don't have to be in defense mode. I, I could see if he fucks up. Fuck okay, it, I'm gonna do it. What the hell is this deck, bro? It's a deck that's unbeaten. <clears throat> that last time I sneezed. All right, I'm just gonna have to hope. I'm gonna have to hope that Mothman... I, Obliterate's important. I, I just need Mothman to not hit Maxi. Hit anything other than Maxi. All right, that's good. I'm fine with that. I would have preferred something else, so I would have two level fours. But alas, beggars cannot be choosers. I'm going to keep all these in my hand, I guess. I mean, this riveting first turn, but you know. I just have to pray he can't stop Maxi. He does not know I'm playing Exodia yet. Again, my goal, chat. I want one time for Maxi, them not to know I'm playing Exodia, and then... Take the max C challenge. It's tier limits. Sometimes they're Oonga Boonga. Sometimes they're smart. We'll have to see which one this is. Okay. Sends away another Mudora. So he has a Shuffler in play. I'm going to activate max C because he's special summoning. Oh, yes. It resolves. Okay. Now... I need to keep it on the down low that a brother playing Exodia. The next top four cards will be Exodia. Okay. The next four cards will all be Exodia after this. Oh, yeah. The uh, Tier Limits field spell. Okay. All right. Let him cook. Let him cook. My deck never loses to Tier Limits. I'll tell you that much. My deck is too versatile. It has every out to every tier limit. Yeah, keep playing. Take the challenge. Take the challenge. Yeah. Yeah, take the challenge. Take the challenge. You ain't no bitch. You ain't no bitch. Take the challenge. Take the challenge. Yeah, send them away. Yeah, get all the cards you need, partner. Get all the... Come on, I need some Exodia pieces. All right, of these 32 cards, the next four are all Exodia pieces. Take the challenge. Yeah, go ahead, Fuse, brother. I'm like a Dragon Ball villain. Go ahead and use your fusion. It's my uh, super boo voice. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hurry up, bro. Bring out all the scary monsters you can think of. I'm getting sick of waiting. Ooh, Kit Kalos. That's going to get you to summon even more. Come on, Exodia pieces. Shh. 
shit. This is gonna reveal, though. This is gonna reveal what I'm playing. Alright, I guess we're gonna send away uh, Kit Kalos. Damn, bro! Every effect in the world activating! Alright, you're probably thinking, but don't you have to send away an Exodia piece? Just has to be an Exodia card, bro. It doesn't have to be a piece. So, if anything, I'm just thinning my deck even more by sending away Exodia Incarnate. The only thing that sucks now, though... Is all this fella has to do is bring out unless unless the maxi challenge gets me another battle fader, but all he has to do is get the uh, tier limits card that prevents me from special summoning. Uh, then I can't special summon battle fader. See, I... Oh, this is so risky. Do I give in to greed? See, Havness needs to include Havness. I could stop. I'm going to stop this. All right. All right. All right. Let's not get too... It doesn't look like we're going to draw into Exodia at this point. So let's just hit all of these. The reason it's bittersweet, man, because the more he special summons, the, the better my chances of getting Exodia are. But if he special summons into the right cards, well, I won't be sticking around long enough to, uh, to do anything. So, regretfully, we had to stop that. But he could still go into some Exceed monster plays. You know, he could still do some Link summons. Go ahead, cook. Go into your abyss dweller. You ain't shocking nobody. Time thief redoer. I'm shocked. Yeah, oh, we got another battle fader. We would have been fine. Curses! Yo, this card destruction about to go crazy. All right. He could bring out Zeus. But let's see if he does. He does not. Dead ooh. Yeah, this is about to go crazy. Don't hit a good card, you little bitch. I'll beat your ass if you hit a good card. Go ahead, bro. Take it. Danger Mothman. Ha! Dummy, stupid. All right, I'm gonna just set <laughs> revive Sky God. I hate to get rid of all these battle faders, but I can shuffle them back in. Card destruction. I can shuffle them back in. That's just an effect monster. I don't give a fuck. You ain't doing shit. Ooh, and another maxi. You love to see it. All right, I'm actually gonna let Havness resolve. And I will maxi. Make my day, draw more, draw more. You son of a gun. Drolling Lockbird in this economy? Ah, oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. All right. 
That's how you want to play it, partner. All right, let's just... He can just... Ban he can chain banish this, so there's no point in hitting this at the moment. I'm just going to hit this. Bro, want to play hardball with me? We can play hardball now. That's fine. I just can't afford to have that sent to the graveyard because then he gets to send the top five. Okay. All right. Yeah, no. No, I'm about, I'm about sick of you, you little bitch. No. No to that. Get your shuffler out of here. Get your fucking friends out of here. And... I have a... Give me another max E back. Nah, that's dumb. Because if I top deck that, I'll be mad. Uh... Card destruction. All right, you want to play hardball, don't you? You want to play hardball with me? Mudora! And he doesn't control a tier monster, so... I'm just realizing I'm a dumbass. My attack is still minus 500 no matter what I do. Ah! I would not have done this. All right, still have a chance. Still have a chance to clean this up. I made a mistake. I made an error. Perfect. Uh, I won't be able to add a card to my hand because it's rolling lock. But I could at least get rid of Time Thief or Force. No, nah, he'll just banish. Oh, fuck. Could get exchange of the spirit in the graveyard. Could search out Monster Reborn. Hmm. Yeah, he'll just quick effect and then banish his own card. Yeah, I could dark, but again, that doesn't solve my issue. Dark will only get me to, you know, be able to get Unicorn. But that doesn't do anything for me. Because it's the same issue. I guess I could get rid of Scream? Ah, uh, this is difficult. Yeah, that's why I said I would use a uh, unicorn on screen because it returns it to the deck, not not the graveyard. Fuck, I really want to get Zeus. All right, I'm going dark only because dark has a graveyard effect when it's destroyed and then I could just search out a battle fader. I don't have the life points to use this. <laughs> God, I do want to exchange the spirit in the graveyard, but... Not yet, I suppose. But I... 16? If I... If he gets... 15, I might be able to just use... The vanilla effect. I'm gonna set it, uh... Regretfully, begrudgingly... All 
Right, I'm doing this now because I can't afford to let him take my uh, Monster Reborn. So this will just add Monster Reborn to my hand. Okay, hopefully he just gets another monster. He got a trap. God damn it. God damn it. You're so lucky, you little shit. Now he can just place Dark on top of my... All right, I have to hope <laughs> he gets 15 cards into the graveyard. If he does, we can activate Exchange of the Spirit and maybe do something with that. 13. No, bro, get like an Agito in your grave, man. I gotta stop that. Yeah, I gotta stop. I hate to say it, but I gotta stop that. If I click Snow, he's more likely to use it and then banish his, all of his shit from the graveyard, but... It's too dangerous not to at least try to target it. And that's it. Well, we got... We have Turtle in our grave. I forgot about Turtle. We might be fine. All right, here comes Fairy Tale Snow. Oh, we're not going to be using Exchange of the Spirit anytime soon, but his uh, field spell could pop the back row, and he doesn't know it's Exchange of the Spirit, so. Obviously, I would much rather... As long as it gets into the graveyard, one way or another, I'm good with that. So all I need is Gravekeeper's Trap, and his graveyard is shut down. But, we still have to deal with the battle of trying to get over his board in the first place. Sprite Elf, what level 2? Oh, Merly. And I do not have any other shufflers to stop this, so... Just gonna have to sit back and watch, see what he does. You can go Unicorn, you can go Access Code, he chooses not to do anything. <sighs> do I use Turtle now to keep a level 2 on board? Or do I use it for a more dire situation? He could potentially Zeus, Time Thief, and it would be 4 materials if he gets an attack off. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just use this now, keep a monster on board so I can use this as Link Fodder if needed. Don't love that. It's going to be Gravekeeper's Trap. Nope, got a leg. Okay. Need a hand. Sorry, all I got is a leg, dude. Oh! All right. Mustari bon. I guess I'm just going to grab Slifer. It doesn't do anything for me here. But in case he uses Sprite Elf later, he doesn't have any level twos actually, so he can't use Sprite Elf. All right, it's just gonna be Link Fodder. A number some Link Fodder. Oh, and I could just get another Monster Reborn off. All right, you're gonna negate my effects. Should have left Slifer in Grave so I could use Revive Sky God's Graveyard effect. All right, and then he sends a card away, and then that's gonna get this bullshit going. Oh shit, man! Ooh, he did get a Kelbeck, and he activated it. He doesn't understand that that helps me. That gives me a fighting chance. 
All right. All right, I don't really need to activate a Gito then. I'm just going to use it so I get more monsters on board. Because a Gito will special summon from the graveyard. Did he get Shufflers? No, it's just asking to activate Snow. Okay. So Gito's going to come out. I'm going to special summon my Kelbeck. And we should be in a much better situation than we were. Right, what do we get into the graveyard? Eh, nothing good. We did get some Shufflers. Too late to stop what's about to happen. But for future reference. Rukalos. And then that's negated. Alright, that's fine. Why would you target a card that's negated? You just helped me, doofus. Alright. Tier Limit, Sharen. And Havenus. Okay, we can stop both of those, which I will do. One, two. We're also going to hit Snow to force that activation. And yeah, that's about it. And then I'm also just going to return anything. Uh, maybe Foolish Burial Goods or Foolish Burial. Yeah. Do that. Foolish Burial is very uh, consistent. You know, if I draw that, I'm not going to be mad. I can send away anything I want. Could come in handy. Ah, uh, oh, why, why that? I thought he was gonna grab. Uh, oh no, never mind. I'm, I'm stupid. I didn't know what level it was. But will you defeat the timer? Is the question. I was gonna lose off a timeout. I feel like he's been taking longer than me. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. Sure, you can destroy Slifer, doesn't matter. Alright. Send one fairy away. Which will it be? Which will it be? Keldo! Alright. Alright, now we can go into our Zeus play. Or I could force the activation of Kel, though. Maybe I force the activation of Time Thief Redoer. No, I'm just gonna Zeus. Let's keep. Uh, let's be smart about this. What else can you activate? Oh, it's just his Shuffler. It's just a Shuffler. I don't care about a Shuffler. The second he activates a Shuffler, I'm going to chain uh, Revive Sky God. But I can't use that first because... All right, let's hit Sprite Elf. And I'm well aware that his cards get effects for being sent to the graveyard. Which is why I'm going to wait to do it. You know what? Maybe he won't use it. What did I even get? I get dark, I guess. I have two of these, so you know what? I'm just going to use one. See how he responds. You know what? Maybe I could grab IP. No, there's no point. You know what? I'm just going to have my turn. Time is getting uh, a little short, so... All right, he can Barone de Floor with Diviner Herald and Tierlemens Rukalos. But we have two activations. I'm going to use one now. Just fuck it. Just before he can get out Barone de Floor because Barone de Floor can negate. So I need to prevent that. And then he can negate me. But I can simply... Since I have two, I can just activate it again.
and it resolves. Now, I'm well aware he's about to start popping off in this graveyard now. Uh, and then this dumbass just comes right back. This adds a trap. I don't care about that because it's not a problem yet. Yep, he grabs the two traps. Then Rukulos comes back. I'm not going to lie. When I activated Zeus, I forgot about the stupid trap card. So, bearing that in mind, I should have activated Zeus my turn. Uh, because the trap wasn't active anymore. Alright, he can't attack over me. And I have a Monster Reborn. He still has Keldo, though. Which is going to try to shuffle before it. Oh, great. If I can get this to resolve, I win. I literally shut his deck down. Alright, I could try to force him into... You know what? Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to activate Monster Reborn. And I am actually going to do something interesting. I'm going to hit... Where's his Shuffler? I'm going to hit his Shuffler. Damn, he has two! Fuck! <laughs> Alright. Uh, nevertheless, I'm still going to do that. Just to force him into using it. Fuck. And see what he hits. This little black... This little bar here, this is his timer, by the way. I found that out. I forgot this is on the board. Alright, but that's fine. Because I can activate this again. I have another revive sky god. He has to send this away, right? No fucking way you top deck that, you little baby back bitch. But that's fine! Because I have Gravekeeper's Trap! No. He still has the Shuffler spell. He can get rid of Exchange of the Spirit now. If he's not a doofus, he gets rid of Exchange of the Spirit now. He's a doofus. I win. Wait, it is in my graveyard, right? I'm not, I'm not stupid, right? Yep, he's a doofus. He could have chained his shuffler and got rid of exchange of the spirit and he would have been fine but now he loses <laughs> clap it up clap it up for the dumbass <laughs> sorry partner i'm better see if we can actually hit dual level 20 with this bozo deck save replay uh remind me after this one because i already didn't that was the worst tier player I've seen? Bro, anytime I beat a tier player, it's the worst tier player you've ever seen. It just is! <laughs> but, but really? Damn, bro. Yeah, he fucked up, bro. He fucked up. Because he, he stepped up to me. Also, do not underestimate the pressure of the timer. I looked at his time. His time was very, very low. So he's probably just like, quickly like, Oh, uh, uh, no, uh, yes, uh, no. Summon Exodia? You don't summon Exodia, bro. You gather all five pieces. And then Exodia just fucks the opponent. He doesn't get summoned, though. He just exists in the hand. Alright. This might be an anti-meta, uh, macrocosmos, fucking floodgate-ass deck. Would not be surprised. I haven't run into one of those in a little bit. Give me Kelbeck. Okay, that works too. Not what I wanted, but that'll work. 
All right, I'm willing to bet he has maxi. Eldlick, I have not run into Eldlick in 17 years. Um, do I do this for one draw? Fuck it, yeah, I'll do it. I'll take one draw out of your little special summon. Oh, brother, you're so childish, bro. Let me, let me get benefits for both summons, bro. Now I only get benefits for one of them. Gravekeeper's Trap should shut down Eldlick, but only if I get a... Uh, only if I get... Exchange of the Spirit into the Grave. All right, activate this. We're gonna send away old Slifey Boy. Because we need that in the graveyard. I'm gonna grab old... I might grab Kel, though, because it can search out Exchange of the Spirit. Uh, next turn. Or actually, yeah, I'll still grab Keldo, but it's not for that reason. It's so I can game this little bitch right now. God. Am I a bitch? I always end up regretting to I don't give a fuck. I always end up regretting it. But there's no point in sending these, these little fucks to the graveyard because they get graveyard effects. Draw two. Another maxi. You know what? That that that's compensation. That will make up for the fact that I cannot uh that I cannot, you know, do that thing. All right, Zeus is going to have no materials, but if a card is to be destroyed, then Zeus will gain material and I can search out a card from my deck. So, it's a wall. It's just a wall right now with one material. But uh Humble beginnings for old Zeusy boy, because he will get stronger. The thing is, I don't want Eldlick in the graveyard. So I think I'd rather hit one of his one of his traps. Yeah, all of his shits activate in the graveyard. Matter of fact, fuck Eldlick completely. I don't want him to destroy my back row. So instead. I don't know what he's playing, but let's just say Harpies. <laughs> Leave me alone, man. He he already had Harpies. <laughs> J already had harpies, brother. Oh, this works out. This works out for me. Remember what I said about Zeus. If a different card other than Zeus gets destroyed, I guess I'm going to activate this now. In fact, I'm going to just uh, send this back to your hand. But if a card other than Zeus gets destroyed, then uh, I gain material. So now I'm going to have my Zeus materials. To use his effect. Unless it just says specifies one card. Nope. Okay. And the beauty is I can grab any card I want. So whatever card I don't want or that I want to end up getting in my graveyard. Like, for example, I could grab this. But I'm leaning towards... Not an easy choice. Turtle would save me. But I don't know if I need saving. So yeah, let, let, let's do, let's be smart. Let's be smart. I'll, I'll throw this on there. Now we can get exchange of the spirit into the grave pretty easily. And because I returned that trap to his hand, that's another special summon. So we have Max C for that. So that's going to compensate. All right, partner, you leave me with no choice. What does this do in the graveyard?
D during the end phase, banish this card. Set one elixir uh, directly from the deck. All right. You know what? I'm going to... It's only 500 attack. I'll let that stay on the field. I will let that stay on the field. No point. And you're in the Relinquished Anima slot, so... Not that I really care to be yoinking a 500 attack bitch, but, you know, it's an option. Remember, we don't have a draw phase next turn. But if he is ever to get Elvlick into the graveyard, we have Shufflers. So I'm chilling. Uh-oh. His connection is getting shaky. You know what that means. He's a bitch. Oh. All right. So. Fuck it. Leg. Leg. Why bro feet look like that? Because think about it. Exodia's not wearing shoes, bro. Why bro just was spawned into this world with no toes? How you walk? Chain our maxi, get our one draw for the turn. If his dumbass puts it here, imagine he puts it here. I will start crying laughing. Okay. Not exactly what I had in mind, but nevertheless. I need to take Artemis out of this deck. Artemis was in this deck when I was playing uh, Witch of the Black Forest, which I no longer am. Uh, all right. So, anima. Relinquished anime. Then he has some trap. Probably like a floodgate. Probably like goes and match or some bullshit. Solemn judgment. That's how you feel. That's how we feel. You little whore. That's fine. I just realized I should have Zeus sent his cards away and then I could have just fucking shuffled them back into the deck. I sold. I sold. Duh. Why didn't I do that? The fuck? With my dumb ass. Why don't you put this in attack mode too, pussy? Anybody, I shoved. I, I, oh no, I stuttered twice. <clears throat> done. 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 Oh, that's so risky. I was thinking of shuffling my Mudoras back into the deck just so I have a better chance of drawing one. But that is a little too risky against an Eldlick player. Eldlick Charbuck! Well, I kind of wish I did it now. I'm not going to lie, dude. All right. Um. Then he got rid of Anima. I guess I could bring Anima out and do the same thing. But it does, again, it doesn't really solve any of my problems here. Alright, we're just gonna set the old Exodia head. Hope we draw something better next time. Um. Alright, I don't really play a lot of spells in this deck, so I don't really care about that. I hope you draw a spell, pussy. You know what? It's actually not a bad play to get all these Mudoras back. Because if I get Gravekeeper's Trap on board, again, I just shut down his whole deck pretty much. If I get a Mudora, then I can search out Gravekeeper's Trap. 
So maybe I just shuffle in Gravekeeper's Trap, two Mudoras. Um, maybe an Obliterate. Fuck it, you know? And we essentially shut down his deck. And we get Nagito in Grave. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to go for. I think it's worth it. It's worth the attempt. Make it more likely. Oh, getting defensive, are we? Bro doesn't want to attack little old Exodia head. Anybody, anybody got a problem with me? Come kill my uncle about it. Pussy. All right. I might regret this, but fuck it. Let's do it. And the reason I might regret it is, you know, it's nice to have uh, shufflers, especially against a graveyard heavy deck. But, you know, let's just let's just hope we get one of these, you know, preferably Mudora over the vanilla Gravekeeper's Traps. But let's see what we can get. Mothman, that's not bad. If I can discard a Guido, matter of fact, I'm going to make it more more likely that I do just that. Actually, yeah, you know what? There, there, this is a win-win. No matter what, I should be good. Unless he has like a negate or something. No matter what I get here, I should be fine. All right, here comes big boy Eldlick. Because if I discard the leg, summon Mothman, draw a card, then I have two level fours. I could Agito Mothman into a level four Exceed monster. Uh, like Zeus, and then I'll play it right this time. Well, Zeus is gone, actually. I'd have to shuffle him back somehow. But I'd also draw a card. All right, I hit my own Mothman. That's not great, but at least I still get to draw a card. We got Gravekeeper's Trap, baby. We in there. Um, Look where his elf looks at. Look where it's at. Everybody look. Everybody look and laugh. Activate Agito. Send more. What's in your graveyard so far, partner? Ooh, hoo, hoo. a rough day at the office. I'm going to send more from my side. Uh, am I content with this? I am content with this. Set this. Shut down his graveyard. Uh, going to... I know you wanted me to give you a hand, but I'm going to have to give you a leg scoop. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm funny. Whatever. <laughs> hey, yo, let me borrow this. You should watch where you uh, summon this, partner. Because it's looking like my monster now, pussy. Revive Sky God. I would like a monster reborn, please. Thank you. It's in your graveyard. What can I yoink? Nothing of interest. You know what? I might just bring out Zeus as a beat stick. Why can't that? Oh, fucking spell fragrance. I forgot about that. Okay. They have graveyard effects, though. Until I get a shuffler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not yet. Once Gravekeeper's Trap is active, then I'll start uh, getting rid of his cards. There's no point right now. There is no point in doing so yet. Standby phase. Let's just activate it now. Say no to his whole graveyard. Game blouses. You can surrender if you'd like. Yeah, you better do it now. You ain't gonna have a choice later, playboy. Enjoy your one graveyard effect. Enjoy your one graveyard effect. Did we get turtle in grave? Just in case. We did not. Maybe I should have used Kelbeck after all, but I don't want him to get a bunch of graveyard fodder. What level is Dion in? I am in uh, this level 17. Honestly, he could Sharen. You could Sharen. Bow, bow, 
Also, now you getting bold with it. Now you getting bold with it. Go ahead. Go ahead then. Go ahead. Get it? Is the head of Exodia? <laughs> Dedu! You're done. You're cooked, kid. You're cooked. I gotta use this at the right time, though, because, you know. <laughs> you know. Mustani born! Zeus as a beat stick. E That's my best option, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, beat stick Zeus. Come through. You're such a fucking dick face. Oh, of each type. I'm fine. <laughs> I was thinking of the other one. Spellcaster. Zeus is a machine. Slifer is a divine beast. Go off, brother. Ah, you threw away your own card. Oh, the, the, the elder player don't know how to play the game. Come here, bitch. Let me put these paws on you. And I didn't wash my hands. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Set. You could Sharen. <laughs> this is what I do when I know I've beaten my opponent. Checkmate, bitch. You can't do anything. This game is over. Checkmate! Checkmate! Yeah, your connection getting a little shaky, ain't it? Come back to me when you have a real deck. You're a fourth-rate duelist with a third-rate deck. Nah, I, I've used you, Joe, friendship too. But this guy's not my friend. This guy's a bitch. You could Sharen, you could Sharen, you could Sharen, you could Sharen. I wonder if I'll regret it if I use Revive Sky God. Like as an asshole, you know? I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. It'd be funny, but let's just be safe. <laughs> you, you, knowing my luck, this motherfucker will draw Battle Fade or some shit. Do you know, I like replays of cool shit happening, not of people fumbling the bag. By the way, Dino, were you here for my, uh, the greatest replay of all time that I played? Mm -hmm. I need the replay? All right, bro, I'll show you the replay, bro. Uh, I'll save that last one. See, it's moments like this, I wish I could talk shit in game. Because this guy's literally just like slow playing because he's sad that he lost and he sucks. <laughs> How long are you going to be out, Dino? Because I'm also going out of town. I hope I don't leave right when you get back. Till the end of the weekend, not too long. All right, bet. Hey, all right. Well, I'll just tell you the replay. It's not that big of a deal. Basically, emptied my whole deck, and then I used my shufflers to get all five pieces of Exodia back in my deck, and then I used Revive Sky God to draw all five pieces of Exodia. It was pretty baller. Pretty baller. You know, whatever. You'll turn that into a YouTube short. Well, unfortunately, I saved, I got that replay when I wasn't live. So I'd have to like just post my commentary of me doing that. I, I'm trying to pull it off live at least once though. Who the fuck put that there? Hey, appreciate the $20, appreciate the comment. Started using Cubic, 20 straight wins. Thanks for the help. Hey, bro, no problem. I'm glad you're having fun with it. Uh, uh, it. Once you get against, like, tier limits, it gets a little tough for Cubics because they're 
Trap cards, bro. This guy's slow playing the fuck out of me. I ain't trying to spam, but I'd like to know current Evo in Vegas plans. If not, I need to ship some stuff. I'm not going. I was gonna go, and Dino's not going either, but because both of us have other shit to tend to. We're both going uh, somewhere else. That unfortunately lies on the same days as Evo. Oh, I thought it was a secret. Yeah, we're going to Japan. And it sucks too, because I was registered, bro. I, I was getting kind of nasty F whiters, but... Going to Japan instead. Ugh. Bro is angry. Look at him crying. All right, just because of that, I'm turning toggle on. If I'm able to, I'm going to activate revive Sky God. Just to show him it was really over. He had no chance. Dino, but you probably did that against some bullshit, bro. Like, I'm playing Exodia with Slifer. This guy need to stop being a little pussy. Yeah, he's playing the pussy deck. Yeah, you do this. This is justifiable if you played against, like... If he did this and I was playing like Macro Cosmos, Dimensional Fissure, fucking Flu Wanderese bullshit, then I'd be like, all right, I get it. Come on, bro. I'm playing a fair and honest deck. How can he be mad he's a football player? What? I think it's the checkmate. <laughs> I did kind of troll him with that, didn't I? Unfortunately, I think he has a lot of time on his timer still somehow. So chat, how are y'all doing? This guy do not know how to take a loss. He's a bitch! Good, got Momocon tomorrow? Where's that? I'll just fucking fuck you up. I was gonna use Revive Sky God, but if you would have drawn Battle Fader, I would have uh, thrown up in my mouth, so. I am curious, though. I want to see if he had Battle Fader. Oh yeah, first, report, slow play. Then, uh, oh, you can't see their deck in the uh, YCS thing, WCS thing. Um, all right, this is the one Dino wanted me to save the report or save the replay, save, make it public. Man, Dino think he, bro, Dino, I'm not 10, bro. I know how to save a replay. You, you, I didn't know how to last time, bro. Look at all these public replays. All right, since Dino's leaving Ty, I want you to see the best replay of all time. It's only four turns, bro. <laughs> all right, Dino. Dumbass. All right, look at the best replay of all time, Ty. I have two of these, bro. This one is just, it was just immaculate. Card destruction, send all these cards away. Guido sends more cards away. We get Slifer in the graveyard. I'm happy because I have revived Sky God. He's gonna set one card, immediately activate Max C. He's probably like, you're a dumbass, but really it was just so I had an empty hand so I could draw six cards instead of just drawing five. Boom, Slifer hits the field, draw six cards. I'm feeling downright dirty, devious. Activates Dragon Shrine. I activate Gravekeeper's Trap. I throw away Mudora, so I have a Shuffler in the graveyard. So regardless of what he throws away, I'm good. But by the way, not only that, Exchange of Spirits already in the graveyard, so he gets no graveyard effects. Luckily, he's zero attack, so Slifer doesn't get to destroy this little bitch-ass motherfucker. Uh, but nevertheless, he will still use this effect uh, to get out 
a little cod or something like that. And by that, I mean divine. Go ahead, get rid of my Slifer. That's fine. Link Karibo, riveting gameplay. The sign of a failed Blue Eyes player is Link Karibo. Boom. He gets 300 damage. That's about all he's going to get because he ain't nothing but a bitch. Boom. I want to mill out my Monster Reborn, and by mill it out, I mean put it back in my deck and add it to my hand. Damn, I got a lot of cards in my hand. Probably thinking what my deck looking like. Boom, 16 cards left. What am I going to do? Immediately throw away Kelbeck. Why? Because I want to throw more of my cards away into the graveyard and his. Because I know he has no graveyard effects that he can activate. Throw Obliterate in there because why not? Boom, Kelbeck, throw that little bitch in back into the hand. Skill Drain, I don't give a fuck. I got graveyard effects, bitch. Throw away Agito. Agito's going to activate. Agito's going to throw more cards away. Boom, I have no cards left in my deck. Whatever will I do? Activate Nightmare Phoenix. Oh, wait, Skill Drain's on the field. Just kidding. All I want to do, do is empty my hand even more because I want my hand empty. Because if the closer I get to my hand being empty, the faster I can get more cards from the top of my deck. You're probably thinking, what deck? By the way, I took his card because fuck him. Boom, here comes the most important part. Coming soon. I add all five pieces of Exodia back into my deck, and by five I mean four because I already have one in my hand. What do I do next? Something downright devious. Gravekeeper's Trap activates. I can declare the next card in his deck. I say checkmate because fuck him. I know the game is over. He can't do anything. I bring forth a god, Slifer, the Sky Dragon, but he ain't gonna be here for long because Exodia is now in my hand, and you are going to the <laughs> So yeah, it's pretty much just the best uh, short of all time. Uh, I'm just better. I'm just better. <laughs> yeah, I just hurt. I just hurt my neck. Uh, somebody clip that so I can make it into a uh, short, please. Thank you. It might have to be a highlight because of how long it was, but. That's what this deck is capable of. He thought Skill Drain was going to do something. Yeah, not in this day and age. Graveyard effects are running rampant. Ooh, I'm about to be dual level 18? Mine is one minute long, and that shit is out of mil views. Dino, I trust you to clip this more than them, bro. Clip that shit, like, perfectly. No disrespect, chat. You know, sometimes your clips aren't, you know, you like, why'd you start it there? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's good with you? <laughs> All right. Uh, Mudora. Send away. Keldo. Mudora. Gravekeeper's Trap. Activate Gravekeeper's Trap. Send this away. I'm going to grab. Huh, I'm just so good at this game. Holy shit. Like, what are we going to do with me? I'm gonna grab a Guido. Why? Because Mothman's gonna activate. Mothman is gonna grab one card and then discard another. Wow, I'm gonna send away this Aguido. What does that do? Good question. Aguido, when it's sent to the graveyard, what are you playing? Flu? Yeah, activate this. Send these cards away. And we got Shuffler, and that's about it. We didn't get much. But, but. God, it's risky. It's risky. It's risky. All right. I need to see if I'm God's favorite real quick. I could just summon this normally. But I want that extra draw. If I'm God's favorite, it'll discard Obliterate. Better off redoing it? I mean, I could just cut it from like... Like, I could just cut like half of it. Anyways, I'm out. All right, bro. Enjoy your trip. I'm God's favorite, by the way. It's going to send away Obliterate. Woo! All right, Dino. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hope, hope things go well for you, man. Uh, Yeah. Hope things go well for you. Okay. Actually... I know flu players be playing this bitch ass card. It's pretty much it's pretty much that. It's pretty much that. <laughs> Did you call him scratchy? That's kind of funny. I like that. That's funny. You made me laugh. I like that.
I mean, we got rid of an Apex Avian and a Ryza. This is Flu. You have to win. Bro, I'm going to try, but Flu is annoying, man. And this card to your hand. Okay. This is a minute. All I could get. As long as it includes the last part, I think it should be fine. Thank you, brother. What is he targeting? Okay. What does this do when it's targeted? Maybe that's just all he could target. Oh, maybe I should have stopped that. Yeah, I should have stopped that. I see what he's doing now. I don't play against Flu a lot. I was honestly just kind of waiting for a big scary monster, and then I was going to obliterate it. Please change Shuffler. Yeah, well, too late, bro. I should have. Normal summon while this is banished, add this card to the hand, and then this is gonna normal summon a monster. Okay. Alright, happy ass music, bro. I don't know how this is going to work, but because he needs to send one monster he controls and one card he controls. So as long as he doesn't control a card that prevents this. For now. Alright. And as far as I'm aware, as long as I don't normal summon anything, he can't start summoning during my turn. I think. As desperately as I would love to bring Zeus out, I'd also have to normal summon something. It's just asking if he wants to activate a uh, dimensional shifter. This only stops special summon cards. I'll add it nevertheless, so I have discard fodder. Not gonna summon it though. And I will just do 15 to the face. And I guess we're gonna have to play a patient game against Ol. Against old dumbass here. I don't know if he's playing dimensional fissure, but this would be a problem, so. Oh. Has he played all of his... Oh no, he's extravagant. Activate Dement. I know he has Dimension Shifter. I wish he would activate it. I'm honestly trying to bait him into doing it. But I'm not going to activate Kelbeck because if he changed dimensional... Ah, oh, there's Fissure. That's what I've been fucking dreading. I knew he had it, bro. 
And he adds it. Shit! <clears throat> no. If I activate Kelbeck, he'll just chain uh, Dimension Shifter. Whatever the fuck it is. Okay. Oh, that stops my obliterate, I think. Normal summon, okay. I'm not gonna lie, the second I see flu, I'd be wanting to scoop immediately. Add to the hand. Normal summon one wing beast. Okay. No, I need to stop that. 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 Because he can just tribute both of mine. He could just tribute my card too. Fuck, it's too late. It's too late. I fucked up. Oh, thank God. Okay. All right. I know I know to stop this this time. And that'll stop him from Yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, his Dimension Shifter is gone. Does he have another one? I forget. He probably... I think he has another one for sure. Um, something that could save me. Something that could really save me if shit gets to that. No point in Foolish Burial. It'll just get banished. Unless I just wanted to mill out my deck. Uh, that's that's so stupid. Why'd I even do that? I guess it's obliterate fodder. We're not getting Exodia, but the more fodder we get, the better. To just keep returning shit back to his hand. He still hasn't done his normal, like he he's normal summon, but he hasn't done him like his turn normal summon. So, ugh. I might fuck around and add this back to my hand. Uh, you know what? Let it rock. Fuck it. Because I think he's gonna tribute one of his cards and and then my Mudora. Yep. You can send away fucking back row. <laughs> All right, that changes everything. That changes everything. I did not know that. I thought it was just monsters. This deck is so fucking obnoxious. Probably gonna wrap it up. Bro, if you play Flu Wanderies, nobody loves you. Cap. Cap. Cap if you assume anybody loves you. You don't have parents that love you. Damn, that, that was bad if, if I didn't finish that sentence. <laughs> Jeez. 
hope the duels have been good. They've been good for the most part. That one wasn't, but she overall has been good. All right, let's see. I don't want this to get sent away. I don't really want any of these other cards to get sent away that much, but let's see. Am I God's favorite? Use Ash. Oh, no. Don't use that. You're childish, you little whore. I'm thinking about taking the challenge. I'm thinking about taking the challenge. Because, like, imagine I deck him out, though. Let's see what he's playing. Let's see what he's playing. Oh, fucking Dark Magician. All right, everyone relax. It's just Dark Magician. Everyone relax, just Dark Magician. He did get all three maxis in his uh, grave. That's funny as fuck. Alright, hear me out. It's just so I get exchange of the spirit guaranteed in the grave. I got all my shufflers. I did get a Slifer engraved, so I think we're good. I don't know, bro. Dark Magic. Hold on. Let's just, just in case. I know he's got it. Bro playing Lava Golem, too. You dirty bitch. Actually, I should have called Dark Magical Circle. Oh, smart. Not a dumb play. <laughs> oh, you think you're a smart dumbass. You think you're one of them smart dumbasses. It's fine. All right, I need, need him to empty his hand out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once he gets to five, then we can... Uh, we can use Revive Sky God. Basically, he has to have less than six. When he activates Soul Servant, I will chain a Shuffler. So please be my guest. What is this song? It's a Climax 12 theme from Master Duel, I guess.
Come on, partner. Dork magician. Good for you. Bro, I get it. You're watching the stream, bro, but like don't make don't make it so obvious, man. Bro trying to like play around what I got going. Make it less obvious. Hey, appreciate the prime, Mac Todd. He brings out Dark magi uh, Magician Knight or whatever. That's why I'm not bringing out Slifer at this point. Because Slifer would just get banished. Let's see what he uses Dark Magical Circle's effect on, and then we will play accordingly. God, bro. Master of Chaos. Uh... Alright, so hear me out. We're going to do a lot of shit right now. Gravekeeper's Trap. Send away Exchange of the Spirit. Shut down his graveyard. Chain. Mudora. Uh, target whatever he's... Oops. That. Target this Dark Magician. And then this Dark Magician. Send those back into his deck. Shit, I'll send this back too, because why not? And then I can also send back a Kelbeck, which I'm going to search out right now. And fuck it. I'll grab a card destruction. I'm not going to use this yet. I kind of want to wait for my turn to come around first. Because I don't want to give him ammunition. To use against me. Yeah, this guy is taking forever. Alright, bro, just attack, man. What you overthinking for? Okay. But why? Oh, two level eights. That's terrifying. Whoa. Alright, that's fine. That is also fine. Is your turn over now? Not yet. Draw phase is skipped. That is okay. Gravekeeper's Trap. Send away Kelbeck. And then Chain Revive Sky God. And now we cook. Slifer. The Sky Dragon! And we'll grab an Agito. Activate Kelbeck.
Doesn't matter. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I'll grab Monster Reborn because why not? Oh, I'm about to cook you, partner. I'll be having this. Could I deck him? <laughs> it's fucked up, but I think I could deck him out too. So I would send away one, two, three, four, five. So that'd be five off the top of his deck. He'd be down to 14. And it would also send away a Gito, which could send 10 more, which would bring him down to four. Uh, and then I would just need to Kelbeck once or something like that. Or I could just hold on. I could probably. Oh, he's leaving. There's probably a, uh, there is an Exodia play in there too. Oh, connection failed, bro closed app. People do, how are you gonna take 17 years to finish your turn just to fucking rage quit? I, I just want to hit dual level 18, man. That, is that so much to ask? This isn't bad. As long as he can't... Another Dark Magician player. Where are you fucking scoundrels coming from? Called by. No called by. Probably has Magician Souls then. No, not Magician Souls. Uh, Salvation? Soul Servant. Soul Servant. Yeah, that one. Could just send this back to his hand. Uh, You know what? I will. Or what's the... No, I won't. No, I won't. I'd rather card destruction, Kelbeck. Soul Servant, as I said. Does that also include Rhyme as a Scoundrel? I mean, to be fair, he's... He's good with the Dark Magician deck. He has a good Dark Magician deck. But Dark Magician is... And he would say this too, like... Like, he, he wouldn't enjoy playing Dark Magician against... Shufflers and Graveyard Shutdown because it kind of... It kind of just... It's the scissors to his paper, or it's the paper to his rock when it comes to Dark Magician. All right, partner. It's in your graveyard. Nothing of note. Nothing of note. Card destruction. All right. Uh, let's chain block him in case he has Ash and then activate this. All right, uh, do I want to send this back to the hand? No, no point. If anything, it just helps him. Um, I'll send one of these away. I only need one. Haha, -ha, a little skill drain. Activate, see what else you got. Let's see what else you got in there, partner. Hopefully I get Hopefully I mill out a um, Solemn Strike. Well, that just shows me that I have no fear of your back row. I was worried it might be Eternal Soul. Now I'm not scared at all, partner. You already have Slifer in there. No, I don't. Well, he will be. Foolish Burial. Send away a little uh, Slifey the Sky Dragon. Gravekeeper's Trap. Revive Sky. 
keep that in hand. I'm actually just going to set Battle Fader. Sounds silly, but, you know, we can... We can draw more cards because of it. What's my graveyard that can activate? Shuffler and Revive Sky God. Okay. I guess I could actually... You know what? Revive Sky God now. Just so I can mill out Monster Reborn. And by mill it out, I mean add it to the hand. Uh, anything worth stealing in his graveyard? Shit, I'm gonna check. Shit. Alright, let's just grab his... Uh, do anything in the graveyard. Uh, I'm just gonna take this. And I'm just gonna punch his Dark Magician. Alright, I should have read that, admittedly. But this just means Revive Sky God will have him draw even less cards. Not yet. Need to wait till the main phase. Because the idea is I activate Gravekeeper's Trap, send away Kelbeck. Yeah, you're not drawing anything. Send that back. Send that back. And I'll also send this back so I can search it out. Alright. Activate this. Send away Kelbeck. Chain revive Sky God. I draw six, you draw one. Good deal. Good deal. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. And then I guess I'll grab this. I didn't really chain that right. I wanted to grab Kelbeck, but the way it chained, you know. Uh, anyway, Kelbeck will activate. Send away in exchange of the spirit, please. Damn, still haven't hit Exchange of the Spirit. It's going to be like my last card, I bet. Uh, is there any point in activating this? Nah. Did I get more Shufflers at least? Raigeki. Okay. Can't say I'm shocked. You're going to banish my Gravekeeper's Trap. You're so lucky. He's so lucky. If I would have hit Exchange of the Spirit, he's not doing any of this bullshit. Okay. That's fine. Win now then, Pharaoh. Win now. I haven't even seen him. Oh, there's one Maxi. Two in the grave. You got that Dotto luck? Look, I know Dotto's known for like being lucky because of his luck deck, but <laughs> let's not forget, he pulled up with the very luck deck we're all talking about to a tournament and um, well, shit wasn't pretty. He's still gonna do DBZ streams on YouTube? Yes. Basically, any time, but it's not like scheduled. Just like if I feel like, oh no, DPE. If I feel like playing um, a Dragon Ball game and streaming it, it'll be on YouTube. But I was in my Master Duel bag today. Uh, is there any point? What could I grab? What could I grab? Yeah, I could save myself from some damage, I guess. But is it better to just save this? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We can easily out DPE. Because once it goes to the graveyard, we just shuffle it back and then we're fine. Do I take these hits? 
Sure, I'll take these hits. 5.5k damage. It's fine. That is A-OK -okay with me, compadre. Save my turtle for a rainy day. But this guy does not strike fear into me. Not at all. Not an ounce. Alright. Uh, do I grab Monster Reborn? I can always do that next turn, so no point. A little slifey. Alright. So first, we have nine cards in the extra deck. All right. All right, I'm gonna do Mothman first. I'm gonna hope I hit like Slifer or Guido. One of the two, one of these two would be good for me. Shuffler wouldn't be end of the world. Shuffler, okay, that's fine. Deadoo. Bay Mudora. Send away Agito. You fucking pussy. All right, that does change things a little bit. Mill out the decks! Get me exchange of the spirit in my graveyard, please! Yes, it's there. That yeah, has to go from his. All right, now. Now we should be okay. I'm lowered by... Oh, I can't even... Okay. You're a doofus. You're a doofus. That's fine. Obliterate. Add to the hand. I needs music. No. All right, and then we uh, just get rid of all of his Destiny Hero bullshit. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, and that should be good. And I'm also just going to return one Revive Sky God because I could game this man if I get that. Go ahead, partner. Do your worst. DPE just absolutely shut down by shufflers, man. Alright, in the battle phase. Oh, 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 oh. Bliterate. Ooh, 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 see. Ooh, 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 see. Ooh, see, ooh, see, ooh, see.
You could Sharen. I need to activate Gravekeeper's Trap. What are you bringing out? This? That's your big boy? Let's just do this right away. Alright. We have a pretty good chance to draw Revive Sky God and win this game. But we will have to see if it happens. That ain't shit. If he's Eternal Soul, it's a little annoying, but... I don't see a way he wins this game. Damn, bro. You're so lucky. I just want Revive Sky God. Is that so much to ask? I guess I could just win by throwing hands. Ha oh, ha! I know what I'll do! I need the right music. I need the right music. I need the right music. <laughs> Do you want to know what separates you from me, Tink? <laughs> you think your summit limit will save you? I don't need to summon. <laughs> Do goddess. Activate. Draw two. Yes. Would you look at that? My revived Sky Gods have been added! <laughs> I will send away Mudora. And then I will set a card. Followed by setting a card. You're probably thinking, he's out of cards. What else could he do? What else could he possibly do? I will activate Mudora in my graveyard. I will simply add one, two, three, four pieces of Exodia into my deck, giving me four more cards at my disposal. But don't worry, I won't be attacking. I'll be ending my turn. <laughs> you thought you had a chance? This duel is over! <laughs> Checkmate! Allow me to send a message to you from me! Checkmate! I activate the Revive Sky God! Calling forth! Slifer! The Sky Dragon! Thus drawing my last four cards! Exodia! <laughs> Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Put her there, partner. Shake my hand. Woo! Let's go. It finally happened. And that was for the dual level up. Dual level 18. By the true god of this game, Exodia. You can't do anything about it. I'm better! Better, 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 better. All right, someone to clip it. Now we don't need to use that replay. We could just simply, we could just simply use that clip. Yetzel, are you still here, brother? I need the clip. What the win streak looking like? I don't know, bro. Not that good. Lose, lose, win, win, lose, win, win. Win, win, lose, win, win, win. Lose, win. We're winning more than we're losing. Winning more than we're losing. Could you replay? I missed it. Damn, you missed... Bro, 
Come on, man. No. That was a long duel. <laughs> he might have dipped. All right. Well. <sighs> dun, 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 dun. This song goes so crazy, by the way. I was gonna raid a random Yu-Gi-Oh streamer. Hmm, some people are alive. I don't really feel like raiding anyone. Goodbye, abrupt ending to the stream. Stay tuned for that clip though, because that shit went hard. Whoa!